Hey guys, Steve here, Nomadic Woodsman. Wanted to show you a couple different styles of sleeper shells. So I have the Higdon sleeper shell here. And I have a Bigfoot sleeper shell, Canada Goose. Bigfoot's definitely bigger. Uh, and it's a one piece. One piece design for the Bigfoot. It's a softer, softer plastic. And then the Higdon is a two-piece, so you can actually take the heads off, they twist, and you can take the heads off with the Higdon. I personally prefer um, the one-piece head, just so you don't lose them. Uh, so the Bigfoots are a bit bigger, they're more of a big honker size. So I'll show you two of them, and they stack. They stack pretty good. There's one thing I don't like about the Bigfoots is that uh, there's this big white, uh, this big white in the back, which is a little bit too much white in my opinion. Um, but so what I did, what you can actually do is just grab an X-Acto knife and cut that off. So I have a shell here. It's also a Bigfoot, but this one is from the variety pack. So it doesn't have a head, but that's what I did. So I kind of like how they look without the big white. So yeah, so it depends what you're looking for. What's cool with the uh, the Higdons is that if you take the heads off, they take literally no space, but they're also lower to the ground, so they're less visible to birds. They're kind of a, a nice lifestyle. Life size almost more like a juvenile or like a lesser bird, a smaller goose. But uh, they do stack super tight, super nice, so they don't take any room when you take the heads off. So I'll show you just quickly a, a shot here. Just stacked, so I'll just show you them closer stacked. The Bigfoot stacked, the Higdon shell stacked. I don't know if you can see kind of the height. I'll take them, put them side by side there, show you the height. Should throw the, the head back on that one. The Higdon shell compared to the Bigfoot. Throw the head back on. It's just a simple put in it and then twist it back. The head. And you see what I mean behind him there with the, uh, that's a lot of white. If you're hunting in snow, it's actually good to have that because it, uh, it'll blend in the snow and then the wind won't catch in your decoy as much with the plastic bit but if you're uh, hunting in a field just uh, with no snow I do feel like like just the black tail is better than with the white Higdon Bigfoot Higdon Bigfoot I like to mix different styles in my spreads different brands it looks realistic all the birds in my opinion look a little bit different Bigfoot Higdon oh the Higdon doesn't take with a doesn't come with flock tail I uh, flock them myself but the Bigfoot does come with the flock tail So that's it, pretty simple video. Just wanted to show you guys the Bigfoot shells compared to the Higdon shells. Both have advantages, disadvantages. This just depends kind of what you're looking for. Um, bigger honker, bigger visibility, heavier Bigfoot. Little lighter, little smaller. Still a good shell is the Higdon. Little bit cheaper on the price too. Um, so yeah. 
not a sponsored video or anything just wanted to share with you guys there was no videos on these shells on YouTube when I bought them so I thought maybe I'd uh, do a little video for you guys so you can uh, have a better idea what they look like before you uh, purchase some I do like sleeper shells in my spreads I do uh, I use them in fields mostly but uh, they're awesome like on ponds or uh, you know just mix with full bodies or swimmers on shores or full bodies in the fields they're good they're different head it's realistic birds are always doing different positions so I like them yeah thanks guys for watching please subscribe I do some goose hunting videos I do birch bark canoe builds I do like camping videos outdoor stuff so leave me a like leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys soon cheers